Hello and welcome back guys to Oracle Angels 1122 guys I'm going to be doing your bonus reads okay your bonus reads are going to be done a little bit different this time okay before I start I do want to say that these are not personal readings so they won't resonate with everyone okay um, so I'm going to be doing your career and finance at the top I'm going to be doing in the middle okay your love life and then at the bottom the overall energy okay which could going to just about anything okay so let's start holy angels holy guides please give me a reading please for aquarius and moon rising and venus please for the month of april for their bonus reading what do we need to know please angel guides um about aquarius's finance and career please what do we need to know about aquarius's finance and career what do we need to know for aquarius's finance please for april 2020 okay that's what we have oh okay <laughs> we have our first card we have the six of pentacles what do we need to know please justice what do we need to know for aquarius's finance please angel guides We have the Ace of Swords. What do we need to know, please, for Aquarius's finance, please, Angel Guides? We have the Emperor in reverse. Okay. Let's go in with Aquarius's love. Angel Guides, what do we need to know about Aquarius's love life? do we need to know please for Aquarius's love life for the month of April we have the seven of pentacles what else do we need to know for Aquarius's love life please angel guides we have the queen of pentacles could be dealing with an Aries Libra Virgo Taurus Capricorn we have the Four of Swords. What else do we need to know, please? We have the Two of Pentacles. Okay. And then going in with the last row, we'll get a general read. Let's go in with a general reading. What do we need to know for Aquarius's? Three of Swords. We have the Temperance in reverse. got a sad energy here as well five of swords in reverse i feel like somebody here is avoiding an argument or is avoiding a conflict with a person tower in reverse um even though they may be confused and conflicted your overall energy is the five of pentacles okay so you could be feeling really left out at the moment considering that how the situation is to be fair a lot of people are going to be feeling quite isolated at this time okay quite vulnerable um the loneliness is kicking in okay um but we have to just keep going we have to just keep going and that is what this card is showing that we have to keep going because eventually we are going to come back in from the cold okay eventually we are going to have that financial stability it's just a matter of having that courage okay and keeping it going and when we're ill um we need to have that persistence okay we need to keep fighting off the viruses and uh, we need to keep 
um, taking and keeping up on our medications, our vitamins, minerals, exercise, health, okay? And I feel that that's what this card is showing here in general about somebody's health. It could not be very good right now. And I feel that the way we deal with health is the same as we deal with life. We have to find ways to keep ourselves going and keep ourselves motivated. And I feel that that is what is happening here. In regards to love life, I feel that the overall energy here is that you and this person are at a distance, okay? This could be emotional distance or physical distance right now, okay? So you may both be living with each other right now, okay? But it may just be that you both are not very really close right now. So the tension may be between you both at the moment, you see. Um, and I feel here, okay, that there may be some financial um, struggles, okay, or challenges, especially if you are a business owner or this is about your wages, okay, your earnings, there may be some financial struggles, okay. So <clears throat> what we have here, okay, is for your work, in regards to your work, we've gone from the five of pentacles, okay, to the six of pentacles. So it means that there is going to be some financial stability coming in but it's going to happen really slow okay and this might be because you are persisting to keep moving on okay throughout this whole situation see how you've come in from the cold i feel that somebody here may offer you that financial support here okay um this could also be you offering somebody else financial support too but i do feel here okay that there is going to be um some give and take going on here and finances are going to start looking a little bit more better in regards to just this there may be some legal paperwork that you may need to sign out okay like this could be online paperwork this could be solicitors this could be business okay i feel like this is something to do with business in regards to paperwork or legal situation which requires you to get a breakthrough in the situation which might help you in financial stability so i do feel that there is going to be some clarity in the situation Moving forward, like I said, there's going to be a breakthrough, okay, in financial and if it is in this legal situation, I feel that there will be a breakthrough in both of these situations here, okay. Um, there will be some balance, okay, and I think that there will be some mutual agreement happening between you and the third party, okay, of whatever you're dealing with in regards to this. We have the Emperor in reverse, just be careful, okay, not to get too... Um, too inflexible okay in regards to a situation okay make sure that you don't become too focused on the situation don't become too over dominating overpowering over the situation you have that power there yes but don't over overuse that power okay or that authority it can end up backfiring um i also feel that this could be talking here about a person here okay that you may be dealing with who is inflexible in what they do i feel that this person may be a can be very controlling of the situation okay so before signing any paperwork or before dealing with anything make sure that you know this person's giving you all the information that you need because the emperor in reverse also shows okay about somebody who is has selfish ambitions okay um and this person may okay be thinking about themselves in all of this okay but they can be a bit of a fraud they may have a bit of a fraudulent paper um, um paper they may have a bit of a fraudulent behavior towards themselves okay like this fraudulent personality okay so just keep an eye out for that okay and just be a little bit careful in regards to who you're dealing with in 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 this legal situation or with financial help i feel that this person may even come across as friends with benefits okay so not everything is is there um, in a genuine motive okay so moving on to your love life i feel that you are really thinking about somebody right now okay and you really want to invest time with your person right now okay and again if we put these two cards together even though that was finance but i look at it as overall i feel that this you want to give to this person or this person wants to give to you okay in this relationship um this could be love financial support um you know physical help okay even as well i feel that somebody here really wants to is it's got you in their mind all the time and you see how this person here the queen of pentacles is thinking about you they're looking at this pentacle and that could just be you and i feel here that this person is thinking about you as well okay 
this person is a really homely person they look after their home they look after their husband their partner their spouse their children they are very much grounded and they are very secure okay very nurturing and this person here just wants to look after you and be there for you okay they may want to even um offer you something is what i'm getting from this now even though the queen of pentacles is actually holding that coin um i feel that this could also be a child this could also be finance usually they look after their money and their finance but i feel like this person looking at this particular image what feeling i'm getting from this is that this person wants to give okay and they really want to help you and it's not out of self-pity it's because they care um Things are very much relaxed right now okay, in your life. You're taking it easy. You're meditating. You're relaxing. And things are just looking really good for you right now. Okay, So that is all great. I feel that, you know, if your health was not good, um, I feel that that is going to, like I said, you're looking after your health. So if your health was not too good, you are going to start to be looking after your health. Okay, um, which is great news. You are resting you are definitely going to get a breakthrough in your health in regards to that okay so your health may have been the reason as to why this person as well has come forward okay and has offered to help you okay i don't feel that their their motives are not genuine i feel that they are um I think that you may have been juggling too much in regards to this relationship you may be stressed out in regards to this relationship as well um to me this is also showing here okay that there may be a difference in opinions okay difference in how you both feel for each other um i'm mostly getting from this is that your minds are not really in sync with each other so your person may be thinking of something else you may be thinking something else um i do feel that but then you may also be dealing with the same person who could just be your partner as well okay and i'm not saying that that is the case but the emperor was sitting on top of this two of pentacles so i feel like there is too much going on right now you may be juggling with a partner who can be quite controlling who can be quite dominating okay um, and asserting their opinions and power okay on you but i also feel like you could be dealing with somebody at work who's like this okay so you can take that how that resonates um i've gave you two choices there on how this looks out to me i'm also feeling here that um if in regards to choices if you're dealing with a person um who may be the way they are which is the emperor in reverse which is what i've explained to you very um, very inflexible um very manipulating controlling okay they may even have um you know some immaturity in them when making decisions and very stubborn okay but for their own like motives i feel here that you know you could be looking in regards to um, a better opportunity here okay or weighing the scales out so which one benefits you more better than the other which i think is a really good idea but with the queen of pentacles being here okay um i feel here that you may want to take a second opinion okay from your person okay so um your person may be able to help you okay um have some clarity in the situation there's nothing wrong with taking a second opinion i feel that everybody does need to have a second opinion and especially when you know we're talking to somebody who's not really um in the frame and who's outside of the box who can see things much clearly okay um so you have a lot of that you're juggling right now it could be some legal financial situation here as well as your relationship okay so in general you feel heartbroken you feel at loss okay this could be causing this could be a sign of stress at the moment okay or depression um because of your ill health as well okay i also feel that because you're dealing with this person here this could be cause of that as well in terms of relationship i don't feel like this is to do with your relationship in particular but i do feel that however you may feel a little bit heartbroken as to maybe this person you know is not coming forward and offering that financial stability or that financial help um because of some legal paperwork that needs to be done but the three of swords is just generally showing that right now and it may be to do with the lockdown that we're all going through right now but i do feel here that with the three of swords 
this has a lot to do with that just the stress okay you know and the the grief okay of um of having to deal with a lot of things right now Aquarius that you have on your plate okay and I feel that your mind is continuously on the go in regards to these temperance is in reverse okay so we have Sagittarius energy here um the temperance is showing here again the the imbalance okay the lack of having that long-term vision of having any success in regards to work or career you also maybe um have a difference of opinions okay with you and your partner okay and i feel that this lockdown and right now these challenging times can really bring out the worst and the best in people but i feel right now it's what i was saying with the two of pentacles right here is that you both may be very conflicted right now with your ideas you may be both having different suggestions different thoughts and there's that imbalance there in personalities okay but whatever happens i feel that you know you are feeling open to change your person may be feeling open to change here with the five of swords okay i feel like you're really trying to avoid okay um this conflict you're really trying to avoid it and that's the only way you see of getting this breakthrough and finding any peace in a situation i really do feel that you're just going to if there any, any argument kicks off i don't see you trying to get involved in it or wanting to get involved in it what i'm seeing is somebody just staying quiet and and either just ignoring the situation or they are just going to walk away from that situation which i think is probably a good idea and the best way to handle the situation right now especially during the lockdown um yeah there is the tower in reverse so somebody here is definitely trying to avoid any kind of conflict any kind of mental stress any kind of um problems that you're having um between you and your person the person may even be accusing you falsely okay um in regards to something here which has kind of upset you and heart made you heartbroken as well there may be a situation where you feel like um you feel like okay you know whatever it is that you have to avoid right now you know you're gonna have to face at some point as well so there could be that as well um but looking at the other cards that are following from this i do feel here okay with the temperance that this may have something to do with your relationship the person that you are living with at the moment or the person that you're staying with or that you communicate with this is about partnership this is about love um i feel that this is more based on these kind of things here but if we are talking in regards to business i feel that you're trying to avoid this person's energy to the most that you can actually avoid from this person and try not to get into a conflict with the person because you may already know that this person's probably not going to change right um you know so let's go in with some oracle cards and see what guidance we can get from your angel guides and mine as well so let's see what we have for you angel guides what messages do we have and what guidance can we give for aquarius please what messages do we have and what guidance can we have for aquarius's please in regards to their career and love please what messages can we have So we have two cards okay so we have artist and we have children so i feel here engaging in artistic activities is benefit beneficial for your career and other areas of your life so somebody here may be um into arts okay architecture this could be art even in um music painting So I feel here that this is about you now, okay, really needing to kind of step up your game a little bit as well because art to me also means the art of challenging someone in a persuasive way. This is about using your intellect, your charm as well. I feel this is about impressing someone here, okay, in regards to work. So you may need to step up your game and impress other people. We have children your life purpose involves helping teaching and healing children so i feel here that with the children card you 
you may have children with this person because we have the queen of pentacles here as well which is why there could be this imbalance here too but i feel here that this is about you needing to kind of let go and this is about healing yourself internally okay so recovering your energy healing okay bringing that inner child out um and healing that that past resentment that you may have had okay and you'll be surprised actually um by healing how much actually you can get out of a situation and when you've healed you're able to get a breakthrough in a situation and deal with things um a lot better okay and i feel that that's what it's saying here you need to heal okay and i feel that this is also in regards to family healing as well together you and this person as a family need to heal okay from whatever the stress tensions and imbalances are okay so let's get um an angel oracle cards the angel answers and see what messages and guidance we have for you aquarius what guidance what messages can we get in regards to aquarius's career and love please wow okay we have forgiveness and we have too many here so i'm not going to take those um so we have forgiveness can i have one more card please angel guides thank you guys i also forgot to mention i do have a podcast now up available on my channel it is the three it's part of the meditation series um and i have shown um everyone how to do meditation in that and you can follow me on the podcast it is on spreaker and it is on youtube and there are other platforms too that it's on and the link will be in the description box below um so we have helpful people and forgiveness so i feel that with the helpful people we have here okay this is kind of showing the energy that you know you have somebody there who can help you okay and you need to take the help and accept the help okay because we all need it and as much as we like to believe that we're strong enough and we can deal with it and that may be so but i feel that whoever this person is your person this person here is really trying to help you and they're trying to heal you okay they're trying to they're trying to heal your wounds okay and they're trying to just help you relax and take things easy they are there for you you know i feel that genuinely this person here if you need a shoulder to cry on or even to talk this person's here for you and gender's not specific i feel that you know this for females this could be a male you know vice versa or whatever it is but with the queen of pentacles being here i really do feel that this person here is really trying to help you and you may have other people as well that you can look up to so don't hide away from that help okay if there's people there to help you they are going to help you we also have forgiveness so you may like i said forgiveness is part of healing as well so until we don't learn to forgive ourselves and our past resentments we can't move on okay we won't be able to forgive others as well and i feel that this is really important so again a lot of healing energy going on here aquarius is a lot of healing and i feel that this is about manifesting um you know abundance and bringing abundance into your life making affirmations meditating praying okay as well these are all the best ways to heal okay aquarius is that was your bonus read i hope it resonated and i hope it helped don't forget to like share and subscribe okay all the great stuff and uh, guys don't forget to stay in stay safe i love you all take care bye bye